What guides me? It's that sense of reconnecting with life, reconnecting with nature, what we are, where we live, how we evolved. I was born in Quito. One of the biggest problems we face is air quality. All the citizens suffer because it's really bad and it needs to be improved. The city is growing and all the green spaces are shrinking. I love plants, I love nature, but I love to have that in my city. We have a lot of roofs here in Quito. Maybe part of the solution is creating green spaces within the city on the roofs. The benefit of green roofs are, first, the cooling effect in the city. All the vegetation will absorb rainfall to relieve these floodings that are happening right now in Quito. We will preserve all the natural heritage that all the landscape is losing. When I have the green roofs, my dream is to have native plants surround us as if we were living in a forest. So what we have here is a native plant called chocho de páramo, which is a heritage plant for Quito. Do you hear that sound? Those are the seeds inside. The benefit of preserving these native plants will be to have these plants available for studying them. Most medicine is derived from plants. It's like a pharmacy that we have, but we haven't studied, so we don't use it. The legacy I want to leave behind is a greener city. We are part of nature, and we shouldn't build a space without it. Being a young champion of the earth, it's a great opportunity because I feel that my ideas are powerful. All of us have this seed inside, this green spark for making a change. <laughs>